Hi, I'm Gavin McInnes, and you're watching Celebrity Bites on SNTV. How to Be a Man was inspired just by the vacation of youth, really. I mean, um, I don't know if you're familiar with the kids today, but they wear little soft cardigans, and even when they wear a blazer, it's made of pajama material. It's a pajama top. Um, they don't wear shoes. They, you know, the key to, to dressing is always dress like it's winter on the bottom. But the kids today always dress like it's summer on the bottom or the beach. And I feel like, you know, this is, I'm gonna be dead in, within 30 years and I need, I want my legacy to, you know, get man back on course. Never had any cancer scares or anything. We just, you know, the problem with Breaking Bad is it made the stakes so high with shows that everyone has to have cancer now. So we wrote it up and we thought this is pretty good but it needs high stakes thanks to that stupid show. So we had to give the guy cancer. And I've noticed by the way, pitching anything these days, if your hero doesn't have cancer, people just start to glaze over and look at their watch and then you go, but he's dying. And they're like, oh, tell me more. I know everything about being a man. So, you know, the problem with being as perfect as I am, when you convert it into film, you just go, this is unrealistic. No one could be that amazing. This is like a human god. What's the catch? And I don't have an answer to that in real life, but in the movie, you can alter reality. So I made him just a little bit imperfect. I'm Gavin McInnes. Please check out How to Be a Man. It's on uh, iTunes, Amazon, Netflix, probably a bunch more crazy things. I bet your grandmother has one in her shorts. Uh, it's a really good movie. I apologize, I didn't know it was going to be an actual film. I thought we were filming a prank. But uh, it's definitely worth checking out, especially if you've never bought pants.